What's up, everybody? How's everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG. Um, before we jump into our video today, if you'll allow me to monologue for a second here, um, I just want to take a moment to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody out there. Um, and uh, I can't believe 2023 is, is coming and, and is almost gone already. And I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you to everyone out there that continues to tune in and watch my videos and finds them to be in fun, funny or informative or, or, you know, entertaining. And so I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Um, as we got ready, get ready to wrap this year up, um, it felt right to revisit Dominari Remastered. So we're going to do a draft box break today. Um, not a battle, nothing crazy, just a good old fashioned box break. Um, have some fun with it. And, uh, DMR is a product that I think is going to have a, a complex history, um, on the back of Time Spiral Remastered, which is a set that is, uh, certainly beloved on this channel. Um, whereas that was very difficult to get and obtain when it came out and DMR feels like it swung the complete opposite way on the pendulum where there's still an abundance out there. In a way, that's a good thing. I think there's a lot of really good cards. It's great to see Force of Wills sub fifty dollars. It's great to see Vamp Tutors in the high teen, uh, high twenties, and all the other tutors in the low teens to mid teens. So there's some really valuable stuff in the set that is more readily available as a result. But as a result, also the the price of the product has has drifted, continued to drift downward. But it's a set I really like. It's a set that I will likely continue to revisit, maybe in collector box form, which I'm a little bit higher on. Um, but a set I still really like and I think has some juicy stuff to it. I've said too much already. Let's jump on in here and let's crack some freaking packs. Um, the, I don't say issue with the, the draft boxes because um, I think overall the draft boxes are also really good. What you will find is that there is a high amount of duplication in these. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's bad. But you will find that you are going to get one to two rares and or mythics in each box that you're going to see a repreat of. Which is, you know, usually you want variants. Sometimes that's good though. Sometimes it's double vamp tutor or something along those lines. Uh, there's a few other things like the retro frames are really cool, but I wish, I wish it had been possible to get more than one rare in a pack if you got like a retro frame foil or something like that, or a retro frame, um, you know, retro frame rare and a regular rare, um, and maybe have like a few of those per per box. But as it stands, unless there is a foil rare or mythic, you're looking at one rare mythic per pack. And that is it. All right. Let me do a couple more shuffles here. Let's dole out some packs. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to do six packs for everybody today. First up, we have Drew B.I. And then we have six for Arcade Ray. We have... Two, three, four, five, six for David F. And six for Drew B. U. We have the Battle of Drews today. Two Drews don't make a right. And we have six for E and H. And based off the first name alone, I can only assume that you are uh, a smart, attractive looking person. Because, you know, Ian. I jest. And then uh, Justin W to end this thing. Good luck, everybody. Let's have some fun and let's pull some heat as well. All right. Here we go. I will skip past the commons and most of the, the uncommons for the most part. There is some good stuff in there, but we've really seen the commons at this point. All right. We have Assault and Battery, Storm Entity, Mishra's Factory, iconic card. First rare or mythic is a rare and is a Lieutenant Kurtar. And a Dread Return as the uh, Retro Frame card there. That's kind of cool. Let's throw the, the rares in. We'll do 3, 2, 1. There's no battle again. It's just a, a break. So there's no real need for, for drama. But we'll do like 3, 2, 1 just because it's easy tempo. Uh, the Mythic Counts. I've mentioned the duplication already. Mythic Counts are kind of all over the place with this product. I've seen like boxes of like 3 and then or 3 or 4. And then I've seen some that are reported that have like an 8, 9 range. So I don't know. Crocus Catacombs. Hey, Isolated Chapel. Neat. Can't go wrong with uh, can't go wrong with the check lands, right? I, I think they're good, solid, a part of a good solid land cycle. We've got the Seer after that. A little mountain action and insect. Nothing crazy so far, but you know what? You can go. You can do worse than an Isolated Chapel. God, I keep doing the wrong thing. All right, third pack for Drew. Okay. I see something borderless back there. Chain lighting, which is nice at the uh, nice at the common level. Traver's ruins, floodgate, 
Flame Tongue Kavu, and... Hey, it's a Maze of Ith. It is a borderless Maze of Ith at that. That's kind of cool. That's a nice solid hit right there. We like that. Very nice. Mog War Marshal in the retro frame and the cool looking planes after that. All right, Drew. Got yourself, already got yourself a borderless Maze of Ith. Maze of Ith. That's pretty cool. All right, Arcade Ray up next. Would love to see... I mean, the hits are still hits, right? It's still, it's still Force of Will. It's still Vamp Tutor. It's still, what, Urza's Incubator? Counterspell Common was another really good aspect of this set. Kind of under the radar. Usually counterspells are like uncommons. All right, Krosis Catacombs. Dragon Whelp. Drown Loose Crusade. Rare is a Siege Gang Commander. If they ever bring damage back on the stack, you're in business. All right, Savannah Lions. Little Swamp action and a bird token. Uh, Sylvan Library is another inclusion. I think Sylvan Libraries are like just below $20 now, which is less than half of what they were. Still a decent time to pick them up. Never unhappy about seeing one. All right, we've got the Caldera. Slice and Dice. Terravore. And, hey, Cliff Trap Retreat. So our second of the check lands already. Again, I think you can do a lot worse than the check lands. Invigorating Boon in the retro frame. Well, island action. I love the, uh, love the lands, too. I'm a big fan of the, the basic lands. Just the dark retro frame border. Pretty cool. All right, next pack up for Ray. Third pack. This was, by the way, uh, for my money, I enjoy drafting this a lot. Crop Rotation. Dodecapod. A little Fire and Ice at the uncommon level. Not, not rare. Take notes, MH2. And a, hey, there we go. There's a solid hit. Very, very nice. And if that's a duplication, if we can get duplication in, in tutors, I'm all for it. Also, Elder Spirit Guide in the retro frame. Not bad as a as a nice little uncommon there. I will sleeve the tutor. I'll sleeve up uh, all the mythics, all the high-end rares, and uh, any of the foil rares or mythics we pull as well. All right, congrats. David F. up next. One of me, my me, one of my success stories for this set is that prior to this reprint, and tombs were like thirty dollars from, uh, like Ultimate Masters, and uh, I couldn't bring myself to pay it. And I'm so glad that I finally waited for this set to come out because now in tombs are like eight, six, eight bucks. I still had a chat, but I, was, oh, I did mention that we'd see some duplication. I didn't quite think it would be in regular border uh, checklands, but here we are: Terror in the retro frame and Mountain and Bird Token. I don't mind seeing check lands in draft packs. Like, to me, I'd rather have that than see them suck up slots in like my collector packs. So, if you have a box that's producing, you know, a good land cycle, which I do think this is a, a good land cycle, then I'm all for it. Rith's Grove, Ovinomancer, and an Arcanist the Omnipotent in the retro frame. Not a huge hit there. Evil Eye of Orms by Gore, Plains, and Elephant. Sweet card in uh, <laughs> sweet card in, in limited though. Uh, if you can't get Arcanus off the battlefield, you will. If they, your opponent can't, you will win very very quickly. This was a fun uh, set to draft, just because it reminded me very much of old school Magic, where you have some like pretty impressive spells, but the creature quality is pretty bad overall. So you're playing a lot of like threes for you know th two twos for three, three mana circular logic. Call of the herd, nice. Good flashback card. And a Lotus Blossom in the Retro Frame. So we've seen a few uh, Retro Frame cards yet. Nothing of substance, unfortunately. But some some decent decent selections. All right. Drew BU. Here we go. Uh, still no Mythics yet, right? So, you know, a lot of box left, but let's start seeing some of that. Okay. Got ourselves a Griffin Guide. Necro Savant, Thrawn Golem. Rare is a Chainer Dementia Master. Mm hmm. And a Valduck Keeper of Flame. Both of those were reprinted again after this, which is pretty wild. All right, next pack. Valduck was in what? Uh, the March of the Machines bonus sheet, and uh, Chainer was. Was Chainer Commander Masters? I think it was. Voice of All. Rada, Air to Killed. Gerard's Verdict, actually kind of a decent card. 
and exploration. Hey, nice. That is actually one of the better rare hits as well. By the way, I never pulled these for myself, so Drew, I'm automatically jealous of you. Uh, I was trying to pull some copies for myself. Could not do it, but I can pull one for you, and I'm happy about that. That is an awesome hit. Ornithopter in the retro frame. Very nice. Sleeve worthy, in fact. Boom. Nice, nice, nice. Definitely happy with that. I think, by the way, I think regular frame explorations are running like 12 bucks. I think it's funny. It's, it's uh, some of these, the regular frames are more valuable right now, market wise, than the retro frames, which I find to be hilarious. Regular frame ex exploration is like eight to nine bucks. And I think the the, no, the non retro frame, the regular frame is like 10, 11, 12. All right, Squirrel Nest. Congregate. Rare is a Jester's Cap. Good old icon iconic Jester's Cap. Spirit Link after that. Cap, you know. Isn't the uh, isn't the thirty dollar plus hit it once was? In fact, it's maybe thirty cents now, but uh, it is an iconic card. All right, Ian. By the way, still haven't seen a mythic. Okay, squirrel nest, squirrel wax and wane. Another congregate. Rare is a Zur the Enchanter. Nice reprint on Zur. That's fine. Savannah Lions again. Swamp and Goblins. Savannah Lions as a representative of power level of creature was like a S tier creature for a long time. I mean, one for a 2-1 uh, was, was a big deal. Like a huge, huge deal. In a world where, you know, again, grizzly bears are like, oh, two for a 2-2. Two, two. Turnabout, nice, icy manipulator. Night and day, and hey, Sulphur Falls. We've got our, what, our fourth check land of the box so far? Okay, Sulphur Falls, not bad. And then a retro frame squirrel nest, very nice. Oh, 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 okay. That is a uh, foil retro frame, no mercy. And that is actually quite beautiful. Uh, you can't go wrong with the black retro frames in foil. They look outstanding, and that is not a, that is not a bad mythic, that is a, that is a bona fide hit. That is awesome. Huge congrats on that. That's gorgeous. All right. Little retro frame, no mercy, which is also just a mean, mean, mean card. Congrats on that, Ian. All right, one more pack for Ian. It's funny to see Savannah Lions at common. Just to just to put a bow on that one. It's it's because uh, that card, like I said, was representative of, of power level for being like S tier for a long time. All right, Deadwood Tree Folk. Pain and Suffering. Stroke of Genius, yeah. A little Impulse, nice. And oh, a beautiful Remote Isle, Foil Remote Isle. I actually haven't seen too many foils out of this box thus far. Almost kind of forgot there was them because, you know, we hadn't really seen any. Yeah, you know, yeah, the, the, the dominant creatures of the past, when you think about Dominaria, which is Shiv and Dragon, which is in the set, right? And that's what, six for a 5-5 five, five flyer with what we call now Flame Breathing. You had Sarah Angel, which was five for a 4-4 four, four with what we now call Vigilance. Um, those things, uh, you know, what, Mahamodi Jin, that was the other one, uh, Sangir Vampire. All right, three for Justin. Here we go. Thieving Magpie. Swords to Plowshares. Another Valduck. And a rare of a Royal Assassin. Very nice. A uh, cute little combo in this set that you can be obtained is a uh, Royal Assassin with Icy Manipulator, which is an oldie but a goodie. <clears throat> little lull after that. A foil lull after that. Okay. Not to be mistaken for laugh out loud. All right. So we've seen a foil mythic. We have yet to see a, a another regular mythic yet, have we? All right. Things are getting interesting as we approach uh, the halfway point in this box here. Phyrexian Scuta, another Swords to Plowshares, and an Overmaster after that. Overmaster is a cute card. Ovinize, Duress, and Mountain, and Griffin. All right, one more for Justin. Oh, that Foil No Mercy, that's nice. Okay, Tormont's Crypt, yep. Ship's Caretaker, uh-huh. Another Phyrexian Scuta, weird. And an Arcades Sabbath. Unsure why they decided to throw this particular Elder Dragon in here, but it's an interesting inclusion. And a Retro Frame Counterspell after that. All right, throw, I like the Assassin. I'm gonna throw the Assassin on top. All right, Drew, back to you. 
Drew B.I. Okay. Recoil. <laughs> Speak of. Sarah Angel. Nice. Gamekeeper. And Sabine's Reclamation, which is a decent rare. Ovinai's after that. A foil Gamekeeper. And a Mountain and an Insect. And I apparently uh, forgot that I took all the Mythics out of this box before opening it. It's starting to get spooky here, folks. We have a foil mythic, a foil retro frame mythic, which is, hey, that's great. Where are, uh, where are the regular ones? Slice and Dice, Terravore, Zombie Infestation, and a <laughs> another check land, this time in a retro frame. It's an isolated chapel, which is, uh, you know, it's fine. What is that, our fifth check land of the box? A break Asunder, and a Stone Wood Invoker foil after that. A little Gabo. Okay. Uh, I still like the Maze of it. I'm going to throw it up top. But congrats on your double isolated chapel, Drew. Okay, Ray, back to you. Uh, by the way, where the... Yeah, can we pick up some more... We started off pretty good with a Mystical Tutor. Can we can we add some Enlightened Tutors to that? Or Worldly Tutors? Fact or Fiction? Deadwood Tree Folk. Pain and Suffering. And a... Ooh, hey, there we go. Nice. There's a Mythic. Time Stretch in the Retro Frame. Not bad, not bad. Love the card. And uh, if this were a battle, that'd be a 10. It's not a battle, but if it were. Remedy. Phyrexian Rager. He's throwing a heck of a party there. Okay, we'll sleeve up that Mythic. Very nice. Congrats on that. All right. Can we open the Mythic Floodgates? All right, a little Avon Fate Shaper, Flesh Reaver, Spectral Lynx, Pyre Zombie, and a, oh, Drama is Crusade as a uh, retro frame, uncommon forest and bird. I'm gonna keep the uh, I'm gonna keep the time stretch on top. Mystical Tutor is actually probably the more valuable card there, but how could I not keep a Mythic on top that allows you to take two extra turns? All right, David F, back to you for two. Okay. Tatiova. Another Valduk. Another Tormod script. Come on, come on, come on. Urza's Blueprints. Not the Urza card I was hoping to see. That is a uh, that is a <laughs> six mana value. It's, that's fine. Ooh, hey, Retro Frame Chain Lightning, though. Kind of like that. That's kind of cool. And what do we have here? Oh, nice. Retro Frame uh, Foil Mindstone. Not bad, actually. Not good, you know, not a value hit or anything. Not... Not, like, talking it up, but uh, it's a decent card. Okay. Come on. There we go. Got ourselves a Milliken. Another Call of the Herd. This card used to be, as part of... Uh, a zoo deck, a, a pretty key component as far as just obtaining value and putting creatures out. Circular logic. After that, a mind slicer. Mind slicer used to be kind of a kind of an ordeal as well. I mean, that card's pretty mean. Giant spider, mountain, and kitty cat. Uh, I don't even know. I want to keep up here. You know, I'm gonna keep the mind slicer up there. All right, Drew, B U back U for two. Already with an exploration. Other than the No Mercy and the Exploration, well, I guess the Mystical Tutor, but we've been kind of light so far. Let's let's pick that up. There we go. We have ourselves a Wall of Junk, Sawtooth Loon, Undead Gladiator, and a Helm of Awakening in the Retro Frame. All right. Discard, Spirit Link, Mountain, and Kitty Cat Token. All right. So most of our duplication thus far has been really just lands, I guess. Like, that's fine. Dromar's Cavern. Nantuko Shade as a rare. And a Mastodon, or Mace Tail Histrodon after that. Oh, Foil Skirk Proster. That's kind of cool. It was a nice little common. All right. Exploration definitely going back up top. All right, Ian. Ye of the Foil Retro Frame No Mercy. 
By the way, that is still two rares, one of which is a foil retro frame, so I'm not even sure how to feel about that one. Or Mythics, I mean. Feel like there should still be some more here. Zombie Infestation. Spirit Monger, which is a beast of a card if you're drafting. Like, five or a 6-6 six, six in this format, that has regenerate, feels virtually unkillable. There are swords to plowshares and a couple of effects, but can't kill it with a tear. Like, it's very rare. You can chainers it if it's the only creature. There we go. Here's a Mythic. Sneak Attack. Nice. There we go. It's a second Mythic and a, and a pretty decent one. You know, it's needed a few reprints, so it's not what it once was. Still a really good card. Terror behind that. And a little forest and insect token action. I will sleeve that. That is at least another mythic. So there's three mythics for the box, one of which is a foil rare. All right. Come on, pack. Happy to get us on track with that, though. I like this, the sneak attack. I am a fan of Sneak Attack. Frantic Search. Nice. Damping Sphere. Nantuko Monastery. Faceless Butcher. And another... Oh, okay, there's a little bit of that duplication. Arcady Sabbath. Uh-huh. Wild Dogs. Swamp. And Bird Token. We'll throw Sabbath below our other two Mythics there. Okay, Justin, back to you for two. And we got one last pack for everybody. It's been a average box, not a dumpster fire. I've seen dumpster fires, and this is not that, but not not killing it either. Lightning Rift. Hey, Nature's Lord, there's a solid uncommon. Very nice. Dread Return. We have a Mythic. And it's a Dark Depth. Sweet. Um, I love me some Dark Depths. This card is just great. <laughs> I love the framework on this, by the way. That, to me, feels very, you know, cold snap. Nice. Good pull. Rada Air to Keld in the retro frame, Orum's Thunder as a foil uncom or a foil common. Let me sleeve up the dark depths there. Now we're getting on board with the mythic train. Choo choo. Alright, Justin, one more for you. Ooh, another spirit monger. A buddy of mine had three of these a draft once. He won. Cool story. Thieving Magpie. Pack Magpie. Chainer's Edict. Another mythic. It is Kamal. Fist of Crows. I almost forget that Kamal is actually a mythic. It's not, It's not. you know, one you're pumped about seeing as far as, but, you know, it's a mythic. Ornithopter after that. Little Island. And Sheep. I guess it's a decent card, right? It's probably better than I give it credit for. It just seems a little outdated. I would much rather have the Dark Depths. All right, last round, last pack. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully, we have, we were at least uh, we pulled up the Mythic count quite a bit, so that's nice. Uh, can we get some other tutors, though? Like, that would be a thing that I would like to see. All right, here we go. Aven, Fate Shaper, Flesh Reaver, Spectral Links, yeah. And Crawl Space. You know what? Crawl Space is not a bad card. And it's got a little bit of value to it as well. It's worth at least a few bucks. Uh, pretty decent card. Nice crawl space. Excellent. Grape shot, mountain, and squirrel. All right. I'm the juggernaut. Here we go. Uh, Spite and Malice. Deadapult. Nice. Order in Chaos. And it is a opposition. Also a decent card to build around in, uh, in draft. Retro frame opposition at that. Howl from Beyond, Swamp, and Goblin. We'll throw the time stretch on top. Man, are we going to really end with a one tutor box? That seems highly implausible. All right. There's only four packs left, though. Let's see. Make it happen, David. Let's see a tutor. Do I see something borderless back there? Okay. All right, Milliken, Nantuko Monastery, Chainer's Edict. I wonder if that's what I was seeing. That is a, a I actually really like the art on that. Borderless Uncommon. Rare is, nope, it was not. Wrath of God. Okay, we have a Borderless Wrath of God as well. That is a pretty cool pull. I love the art on that. That is, uh, just reminds me of like uh, like Indiana Jones. Ooh, and a Retro Frame Swords to plow shares as well. as our third one of the box for the, uh, the plows. That's cool. All right.
All right, Damping Sphere. The Faceless Butcher. Mm-hmm. Life of Death, actually a pretty good card. And, oh, there it is. There's a good mythic hit for us. Urza's Incubator in the Retro Frame. That is a really excellent pull. Congratulations on that, Drew. Sleeve that up in just a moment. That's awesome. Terminal Moraine. And, yeah. Okay, well, there's there's a solid mythic hit. If we don't pull anything else, that's, uh, that's definitely one of the upper tier mythics. All right, E&H. Already have a sneak attack and a foil retro frame, no mercy. That brings us up to at least a solid box with that with that incubator. Hmm. Confiscate. Invigorating boon. Strand, stand and deliver. And a hey, Triskelion. Uh, nothing to write home about, but super cool artwork. Borderless Triskelion. Lull. And a foil spirit monger. Planes and Gabo. All right. I'll throw this Triskelion. I'll say that three different ways just to make sure I cover all the bases on all the different ways I can possibly say the name of that card. I'm bound to be right with one of them. All right, Justin. Last pack of the box. Have ourselves a quick silver dagger. Really good with horseshoe crab in this set. Fact or fiction. Another borderless chainer's edict. Yaha. Ooh, we have one mythic to end this box. What do we got going on here? Boom! It's Yogmoth. Nice. Snoop Yog in the house. Very, very nice. That is a really solid mythic as well. I want to say Yogmoth's probably around 14 bucks. Kind of climbing also post Fury Ban. That deck in modern is even better. So the Creatures Toolbox, the Yogmoth deck. That is a that is a good way to end this box. That makes me feel pretty good about this box overall. Uh, White Main Line, Circular Logic in the foil version. Mountain and Bird. I will sleeve up Yog. You know. It is not a top tier box. Uh, you know, Force of Will kind of is what cements top tier boxes, center separates the rest. Didn't have a Vamp Tutor, but uh, Urza's Incubator is one of the better hits. A Foil Retro Frame, No Mercy, pretty darn good. Yogmoth, Dark Depths, uh, Sneak Attack, seeing some of the greatest hits, love some Time Stretch in there. You know, decent box overall. Pretty good, pretty good. And it's a set that I do think is uh, it's worth enjoying, um, whether you're drafting it with friends or just opening it for yourselves and trying to pull some value out of it. It is a set worth enjoying. I do enjoy it, even if it has been, um, let's say, slightly overprinted, and I say that kind of tongue-in-cheek. Uh, anyways, that's going to do it for me today. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in, and um, be well out there. Happy holidays, everybody.